Hey everyone, it's Jenny, and today I have got some empties. I actually got quite a few empties. I usually do this with my sister, but we're in the month of December. She works in retail, so it's hard for her to get some time to film. So I figured this was getting out of control. I figured I better go ahead and film it. And this is really like winter empties, well, fall empties going into winter. Not quite in winter yet, but you know what I mean. So let's just jump right in. Uh, first off, there's there's makeup, hair care, skin care, so there's all that in here. This is the Equate Beauty um, com Compare to Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. It's the oil-free eye makeup remover, the Walmart brand. This is really good. I really enjoyed it. Took off my eye makeup very well, so thought it was a good one. This is my all-time favorite Bath & Body Works scent. Um, they only have it on the website. They don't sell it in store anymore because it got discontinued, but it's the Midnight Pomegranate. I have a little bit left in here, but I've got, I think, two more backups of this. It was time to let this one go. It was getting a little bit dusty, so. And then for, is this shampoo? It's conditioner. It's Theory Volumizing Conditioner. I thought this was okay. I just wish it smelled a little bit better. Um, I know, my, I think my sister loves the Theory brand. I think that's one of her favorite shampoo and conditioners um more hair care this is the suave natural volume mousse and this was okay i don't use a lot of mousse but um i did find that it left a little bit of sticky residue so there's that but most mousses do do that on me um another suave this is the soothing leave-in conditioning cream for dry frizzy hair i really like this stuff it smells good if you have a little bit of frizzes um need, you know just need it to tame also thought it made um it easier to brush your hair so i like that i thought it was good um something i did not like at all my sister didn't like it all um we didn't even use it all that's how bad it is uh, it's these a cure incredibly clear acne towelettes um the smell of this is atrocious doesn't remove makeup all that well um so i wouldn't even use it for swatches that's that's how terrible they are so it's pretty bad <laughs> um of course the shishado um cotton facial cottons um we always have these they're so good um, this is the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. You can get this size for $5 at Ulta. Love this stuff. If you have dry skin, you would probably really, really enjoy it. Um, I, I even included this little Sephora Play makeup bag to put empties in because one of them I put my makeup sponges in, but I, I, you know, I think I got three of these now. They need to go on to something else. And um, this is the Marc Jacobs um, Velvet Noir Mascara. I like it. I thought it was good. Um, the a Naked Skin from Urban Decay um, Foundation. I really enjoy it. I think it's good. This was a Shea Moisture a Body Butter and Bubble Bath. I thought these were smelled really, really good. This is a NYX Vivid Brights. Um, I don't really think I use this all this much. Uh, I, I thought it was alright though. I just didn't have a lot of use for it. Um, the Bomb Voyage. I probably have a few more uses, but it's it pan and I'm just... I've got other stuff I need to use, um, so I really do enjoy that. And um, this M Cosmetics palette, I've had it for a little while. Um, I don't ever really reach for it. It's not that it's terrible, it's just I'm ready to just let it go. Um, my sister's brow pencil, this is the Kat Von D Signature Brow. She gets the shade Walnut. She really, really loves this stuff. Um, I have, this is just an old Boing and Lemonade. And what else is in here? There's something else in the bag. And this is the Stellar Brilliant Primer. So, just put all that back in here. I'm trying to not create such a mess, but you know how that is when you do an empty video. And um, these were the uh, Ricky Care from the um, Ricky's Caught Crushes boxes, which no longer exist. Um, the Travel Wipes. These were okay. They were they were all right. They were nowhere near as bad as those Acure Wipes. And um, this is from Candy O Lady, the Witch Candy Mask. Enjoyed it, thought it smelled great. And um, these Clinique Take Off the Day Wipes. Love the wipes, but I think I actually like the Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm and the Take Off the Day, the, like the, uh, uh, for the eyes, eyes, lips, and lashes. That's really good. The makeup wipes are good, but I like the other stuff a little bit better. And um, this is a Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Um, I think this was just a, a, a primer in Quench. Um, this was good. I liked it. I think it was too bad. A little perfume. This is YSL Mon Paris. Um, I liked it. It's just not my favorite. Um, 
this was in one of my ipsy videos um this is the 12 benefits um it was a spray i finally got it to work and i thought it was an okay product but in that ipsy video you all saw the struggle of me trying to get that spray to work so i eventually got it to work um this is sephora brush cleaner i love this stuff i think it cleans brushes beautifully um i want to get some more actually me for Christmas. I love the Cinema Secrets a lot too. That one's really, really good. Um, I finally used up the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detox Balancing Essence Water Mist, which I had this in a hates. Then I realized I really liked it after like my skincare. So um, I thought it was pretty good. It was one of those that turned around for me. Um, this is Way Finishing Cream. I didn't really care for this. Um, I just don't really know a good way to use it. I usually wear my hair like this or I'll wear it um, in a clip or in a ponytail. So, you know, this is the Hello Fab Coconut Water Cream um, Primer. So good. Yeah, so good. And um, this was a gloss from Buxom. And again, I think I had this in a hate it's, it's just if you used it with any lipstick, it would get just discolored. It's a clear gloss. That kind of grosses me out. That's why I don't use gloss a whole lot. And this was the uh, Bath and Body Works Cool as a Cucumber Sheet Mask. I really enjoyed it. Um, I have the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. Love this stuff. I think it is really, really good. And it's uh, inexpensive too, so that's a plus. I have got one of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I do like this formula from NYX. Um, it feels good on the lips. And this was in Audius Ababa. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right because I know these are places like names of actual like cities so i may have butchered that i'm sorry <laughs> and this is the laura mercier foundations radiance primer i enjoy it of course i like a more glowy radiant primer and this was um my collagen hydro lip gel from so i thought it was good of course the sephora uh, pearl eye mask also enjoyed this um facial detox from gold fadden md i didn't like this didn't like it. it it burnt my skin a little bit it dried it out it's a clarify clear mask um but i just no not for me i have also got my little vitamin energy mints these are so good if you need a little uh, freshen up your breath and a little boost of caffeine these are amazing and this right here was from pure Lease, the blue lotus mud mask it's like an exfoliating mask that was good that was good. Um, this Orbe Gold Lush Dry Shampoo. Liked it. Liked it. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Irish Mormon Mask. I really enjoyed that. This is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. My sister absolutely loves this stuff. Um, the Degree Dry Spray Active Shield Antiperspirant. This stuff's really good. Especially if you're doing like a lot of exercising and running. I, I highly, highly recommend that. Um, another texturizing spray from Oribe. Like I said, my sister really loves that stuff. This is the Big T's Plumping Mascara from Buxom. I enjoyed this mascara. As you can tell right there, it's like a little cone shape, but I thought it was good. Not too shabby. Um, this Murad Adriform Inv Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum Makeup Primer. I really enjoyed. Thought it was good. Um, a little Benefit Hello Happy Foundation Sample. I did like this. I don't know if I would purchase it because it doesn't really give you a lot of coverage, um, but it was all right. I mean, it wasn't terrible. And um, this is uh, the Tanya Crooks, the brow gel. I love this stuff. Tinted brow gel with microfibers. This was in Brown Hair 02. Love this stuff. I would definitely purchase that. Um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. My sister uses that every time she does her makeup, so she always has that in stock as well. Um, the Neutrogena uh, Makeup Wipes. I like those. I think they're good. This was a Victoria's Secret mask. It's the uh, Let's Pre-Glam. That's good. Um, another um, Candy O Lady Lemon Candy Mask. But those masks smell good. This is Clinique Even Better Glow. I think this is my sister's because I know I have the full size now and I do enjoy it. So I think she actually likes it a lot too. This was my Stila. Um, the magnificent metals i love this stuff um but it was just time to say goodbye in a violent or a violet vixen not violent but a violet <laughs> um this peter thomas raw skin to die for no filter mattifying primer i did like that around my nose i thought it was good if you like mattifying primers i think you would enjoy that 
this is a lipstick from it's called mess around i think it's color pop this was just not a shade for anybody this is another uh quench tart rainforest of the sea primer uh smashbox the iconic primer i love uh this savine clearance gel and um, it's a uh, facial wash but i actually used it to clean my makeup brushes and it did wonderful for that um this purifying charcoal um plus honey clay mask i thought was good um, these micellar one step is it from Andalou Naturals I think these were just subpar um, this L'Oreal Elvive volume filler conditioner I love this L'Oreal shampoo and conditioner it's so good I still got some of the shampoo um, the St. Ives um, dry and sensitive skin facial wipes these were good there is just so much stuff in here here's another um, I think this was from BRTC, the vitamin C mask. It was good. I got that in an Ipsy. This H2O sea salt conditioner I thought was good. Look what all is in here. Um, Koki um, lipstick, kissable lipstick I thought was good. Um, this tart in Get It just was not my shade. Um, this ColourPop um, uh, Ipsy VIP, I thought this was all right. A little bit drying. Um, this right here was a it was just it's a Kat Von D but it's way too nude for me or my sister in the shade I don't even know if I can see what shade that is Noble I believe it's the shade um these yes to uh, cucumber soothing eye makeup remover pads these were actually they kind of made my eyes burn and I know I've tried a, a few yes yes to products because i want to try them because they're supposed to be good this is ophthalmologist tested um but i've had issues with it has anybody else let me know i mean i want to try more of their stuff but so far what i've tried my skin just mm -mm, and my eyes so they burned burned um this was a dr lily fan probiotic eye repair cream i liked it i liked it i did um this is an ofra long like long lasting liquid lipstick and ipsy unzipped i like that one this was a buxom punchy melon gloss it was all right um this little urban decay high finish lip gloss it was all right and um, this makeup forever it's one of their red shades i've just had it forever it's time to let it go it's good it's good and this right here was the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. I know I had one of those already. I love that stuff. The Verb Ghost Oil. Um, I like to use that on the ends of my hair. Uh, Clinique. This is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Another really good Clinique product. Um, the Sugar Cosmetics. You all know from my um, November Love, Hate, and Appreciate. That was my hated product. Ooh, so drying. This was, is this Makeup Forever? Yeah, another lipstick. It's like in a nude shade. It was good. I liked it. This BB, uh, BB Repair Blow Dry Cream. So good. And I'm almost down to this Kenzo World perfume I didn't like. Um, I love this Alginous Genius Liquid Collagen Serum. So good. So good. It's so expensive though. And um, this Tarte lipstick in, I think it was Delish. I thought it was all right. And um, this Sephora um, lip gloss is too light for me. And this right here, this was a Buxom little lip gloss, full on lip polish. Um, I thought it was okay. Okay. And um, this uh, Garnier Micellar Foaming Gel Cleanser, I did like. It's four in one cleanser. Um, another mask, the Mystic Potion Candy Mask from Candy Lady, another good one. And I think last but not least, the Cetaphil Hydrating Eye Gel Cream. I really enjoyed because it was nice and soothing under my eyes. So that was everything for my empties. Like I said, a lot of makeup, a lot of skin care, hair care. So let me know what products you have used up. Is there anything you've really been enjoying? Like the Clinique skincare is like my holy grail right now. So let me know what's on your, your must have list. And, um, you know, just leave me comments below. I love to read them. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you here. And with that, have a fabulous day. Bye.